and so the, and in this video we shall apply the LRU page replacement algorithm to this page sequence. I have taken the page frame size as 3. Now in FIFO when the page frames were full, we remove that page which was in memory for the longest period of time. In LRU we shall remove the page that is least used. And if all the pages have been equally used then we simply apply FIFO. So over here initially the frames are empty, then we will place 0. Then 1 shall come. Next to enter is 2. So it's 0, 1 and 2. Next we need 1 and 1 already exists in these frames so this is a hit. 0, 1 and 2. The next page we need is 4 and to get in 4 we'll have to remove either one of these 0, 1 and 2. Now 1 cannot leave because 1 was used twice. So either 0 has to leave or 2 has to leave. And out of 0 and 2, 0 was the first to enter so it will be the first to go out. So now it's 4, 1 and 2. Next we need 2 and 2 already exists so no changes. This is a hit. Next we need 3. Now if you were applying P4, or out of 4, 1 and 2, 1 has been the longest in memory. So 1 would have left. So our new frames would, would be something like this. 4, 3 and 2. In LRU we check how many times these pages have been used. So 2 has been used twice, once over here and once over here. 1 has been used twice and 4 has been used just once. So 4 will be the one to leave. So in place of 4 we shall write 3, 1 and 2. So as per LRU the frames are occupied by 3, 1 and 2. As per P4 the frames would have been occupied by 4, 3 and 2. The next to enter is 7. And out of 3, 1 and 2, 1 has been used twice, 2 has been used twice and 3 has been used just once. So 3 will be the one to leave. So in place of 3 we shall write 7. It will be 7, 1 and 2. This was page replacement using the LRU page replacement algorithm. Thank you very much for listening.